So let's go ahead and uh, look at example number one. Now, uh, I want to uh, 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 ask for a little, uh, uh, ask you to do one task. And that is, first, you graph. And second, please verify, okay? With an X value. Please go ahead and do that, okay? I will show you how to do it. Because uh, if you can verify it, then you can tell yourself whether you are right or wrong. So you do two tasks, okay? You graph and then you verify. So using this pen function as our model, okay? So uh, you have this picture, okay? Oh, by the way, let me make sure you understand one thing too. This part right here, this part right here, okay? So we'll say, uh, we ask, how come it goes all the way up? Okay, how come it goes all the way up right here? And then it comes all the way down right here? The, I mean, yeah, but what causes it? Okay, what causes it? Now, so right next to the graph, I would like you to write one, one more thing down. What is one over a tiny number? What is one over a tiny number? Now, if you say, I don't know, then I can uh, give you some hint and show it to you. So for example, uh, one over uh, one over two is one and a half, right? And then uh, let me go ahead and uh, uh, shrink the denominator. So uh, that's one and a half. One over one is one. One over point five is two. One over uh, point oh five is twenty. One over point oh oh five. It gets bigger. So when the denominator gets smaller and smaller, the value of the overall fraction gets bigger. And if you think about just the very basic notion of what division is, why, how do you explain the, the increasing number right here? Well, it's because the denominator is small, so it goes into the numerator a lot, a lot more times. So if you have one over point zero 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 five, and then you have two to the uh, ten to the eighth power with the uh, e notation, the uh, the ten to the eighth power. So that's how you know one over a tiny number. It's going to give you a large number, which we call it infinity, right here. And one over a negative tiny number will give you something called negative. negative infinity. Now, I will be very honest with you and that if you can capture this simple understanding, okay, of one over infinity, it's close to zero, and one over a tiny number, it's gonna give you some huge number. If you can capture this simple thought, you are going to do very well in pre-cal, well, more, more, uh, more in calculus. Okay, because you can uh, handle this conceptual understanding. So now, so let's go ahead and uh, focus on our number right here. Okay. Uh, 